The search and rescue operation is, of course, ongoing at the moment, but just as important, our focus will be on the investigation into what caused the tragic accident and who is responsible. It is in full swing even as we speak. Our Huang Jihe has the latest, and we now connect live with her in the news center. Jihe, I understand the prosecution's special investigation team raided another maritime traffic control center. Yes, Daniel, and this one is on Teju Island. Prosecutors and police officers investigating the case suspect officials there neglected their duty to monitor the area. They obtained CCTV footage and communication records and are currently analyzing the information. The officers have come under fire for not being aware of the seriousness of the situation at the time of the accident. Yesterday, the prosecution's special investigative unit raided the Maritime Traffic Control Center in Chindo, also over suspicions they had given up responsibility for an area that they should have been monitoring. Now, all 15 crew members who were involved in the navigation of the sunken ferry are in custody and have been charged with negligent homicide while the investigative team has wrapped up its probe into three crew members who were arrested earlier, including the Captain Lee jun Sok, and sent the case to the prosecution. Prosecution. All of the crew members are facing mounting anger and criticism for not even trying to save the lives of their passengers. What about the investigation into the Changhejin Marine Company? Any developments there? The prosecutors have put a travel ban on the family of Yu byung on who's assumed to be the real owner of the ferry company and the CEOs of the ferry company's affiliates. The prosecution is looking into whether the family has evaded taxes, embezzled funds, or made illegal foreign exchange trades. The prosecution has raided four branches of an accounting firm that worked for the ferry operator and is suspected of having created slush funds for for the company. The firm also worked with the ferry operators' affiliates, which are practically controlled by Yu byung on whose two sons are the biggest shareholders of the ferry operators' holding company. Prosecutors suspect the accounting firm helped use companies forge audit reports. Some people related to the case, including Yu's son and daughter, as well as the CEOs of the company's affiliates, are known to be abroad. They have been told to comply with a prosecutorial summons and return to Korea by this coming Tuesday. If they don't return, the prosecution plans to compel them to do so. Daniel? It seems like the scope of investigation widens. We have also have investigators looking into the irregularities in the country's port operations as well. How is that going so far, Chia? Well, the government has decided to strip the Korea Shipping Association of its power to certify the safety of the nation's vessels. The Ministry of Oceans and Fisheries says that the decision was made because the association represents the shipping companies, which they determined is a conflict of interest when it comes to safety standards. Uh, the ministry is discussing how the safety of vessels can be ensured and whether it needs to hire new personnel directly or create a another organization responsible for the task. It added that a system will be put in place as soon as possible, but an exact date has not yet been set for the action. The Ministry of Land, Infrastructure and Transport also said today that it will overhaul the nation's disaster manuals. It said it will wrap up its restructuring plan by the first half of this year.